Ah, g'day all. How's it going? Um, I've got a few more for loop puzzles for you. So, uh, if you don't know how these puzzles work, uh, I think you should probably watch the first video. But uh, I've got eight new patterns that I want you to produce with for loops. Good stuff. Uh, so these are a little trickier. Well, some of them are anyway. Um, a little extra tip that you might use, uh, zero means false and anything else means true. And the comparison operators, the double equals and the not equals and that sort of thing, always return zero or one. As a byte, I believe, but then it's cast often to a, an integer or whatever you need. Anyway, that might come in handy. But onto the puzzles. Now, I also decided to put the um, solutions in a different video, so you can watch the whole video. I won't say the solutions at the end of this one. Anyway, a nice simple one star problem first of all. Uh, powers of 5. Yeah, I want you to write a for loop that spits out the powers of 5. So 1, 5, 25, 1, 25, 6, 25. Yeah, how would you do that? Uh, it's worth 2 stars if you can do it without using the multiplication operator. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Give it a shot. Uh, alrighty, next puzzle. Uh, factorials. Yeah, I want you to write a for loop that spits out the factorials. So have a look on Wikipedia if you're not sure how the factorial sequence works. But uh, it's just consecutive numbers multiplied by each other. So like 3 factorial is 3 by 2 by 1. And like 10 factorial is 10 by 9 by 8 by 7 by 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. Etc, etc. So I want you to write out the consecutive for loops. Consecutive for loops? <laughs> I want you to write out the consecutive factorials with a for loop. Alrighty, ah, the first five star problem. So this is extra, extra hard. But there is a two star version as well. So the triangle numbers, I want you to write out the triangle numbers with a for loop. Or generate the triangle numbers, I should say. I don't want you to write them out. <laughs> That'd be boring. Uh, so I want you to write a for loop which counts up in the triangle numbers. And these are the sums of integers. So... Yeah, 1, then 1 plus 2 is the second triangle number, then 1 plus 2 plus 3 is the third triangle number, etc, etc. Uh, but if you're really, really keen, then you can have a go at doing this uh, with one variable. Yeah, you can use standard maths functions if you want, so like log or square root or that sort of thing. Uh, but if you can manage to write out the triangle numbers or get a for loop to generate the triangle numbers using a single variable, you have gotten five stars. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, what do ugly frogs eat? Here we go, this is cool. Uh, this is worth two stars. Uh, the puzzle is called What Do Ugly Frogs Eat? Uh, I want you to write out a for loop which alternates between the two numbers, uh, 28845 and 61453. So the sequence looks something like this. Yeah, it just flips back and forth between the two. Uh, it's worth three stars if you can do it with one variable. So that's a little trickier, but the really special thing about this puzzle, and you get a badge of merit. You get a badge of merit for this uh, if you can work out why why this pattern is uh, what ugly frogs eat. Yeah, just yeah, have, have a bit of a think about it, see if you can get a badge of merit. Why would those numbers be what ugly frogs eat? Good. Um, okay, so counting to five. Here we go, another puzzle. Uh, this has got a three star rating or four stars if you can do it without multiplication, division, modulus or any functions. Uh, but the pattern's pretty simple. I want you to write a for loop which continuously counts from zero to five, then starts again. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, zero, one, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. So that's a three star problem. Give it a shot. Good luck. Ah, here we go. Seesaw. Another five star problem. So this is really tricky. And I should say that I have only rated these, um, you know, five-star puzzles or four-star puzzles or whatever based on how difficult I found the solutions to find. So uh, maybe, maybe people can come up with really simple, elegant solutions and uh, post them in the comments. Yeah, so if you're still trying to think about uh, a solution to these puzzles, prob problems, uh, probably don't read the comments. Um, just in case there's amazing answers down there. Anyway, Seesaw is a five-star problem because I found it really, really tricky. Uh, I want you to write a for loop that continuously counts from 0 to 4, then back down again. So this is the pattern you're looking for. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
I think you can see why it's called the seesaw. Yeah, it's a tricky puzzle. Another five-star puzzle. Here we go. This is hard as well. Or I found it difficult. But uh, good luck to you. Maybe you'll find a really easy answer. Uh, I've called this puzzle Dancing. I don't really know why, but <laughs> just thought it was a pleasant name, so that's what I called it. Or Dancing, I should say. Dancing. Prancing. <laughs> uh, write a for loop which counts 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, etc. Incrementing the magnitude and swapping the sign each iteration. Uh, you can only use one variable and no, uh, what's that thing called, the comparison operator in C++? Yeah, I just, it suddenly struck me one day that a lot of these problems are really easy to solve with this operator, so you're not allowed to use that for dancing. But the sequence that you're after is, is this one. So 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, 5, negative 6, 7, negative 8, and be 9, negative 10, etc., etc. It's tricky. It's quite tricky. For such a simple pattern, it's hard to get the for loop to do it. With a single variable, anyway. Alrighty, another five star problem, another hard one. Uh, this one I've called the sawtooth. Uh, I want you to write a for loop which counts backwards from consecutive integers to zero using two variables and no uh, question mark operator. Uh, so you start at zero, then you go one zero, then two one zero, three two one zero, four three two one zero, five four three two one zero, etc. etc. So you keep counting back down to zero from uh, higher and higher integers each time. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Alrighty, so that's the end. That's the final puzzle. Uh, another eight for loop puzzles. Uh, good luck with those. And like I said before, if you've got any really cool solutions, like some of the solutions to the um, previous for loop puzzles posted in the comments were absolutely amazing. Uh, I loved reading those, so if you've got any really cool solutions or suggestions for patterns, uh, put them in the comments below. And uh, good luck, all. See you later.